How bad is the last epoch situation? Also known as suffering from success, essentially. I'm getting to steam. I want to see how bad it is. Net reviews. Oof. No, what's playing online right now? Pretty sad. It's such a long early access phase to bomb on release like this. It is kind of sad, I agree. Uh, if you look yeah, it's definitely sad, but I mean, no one expected in the first 20 minutes to be 150,000 people to just try and climb in. That was kind of wild. That was, I mean, 20 minutes. That's a lot. Looking to play this game at a party of three people, then you shouldn't be ready to spend three hours trying to get the party and synchronizing in the same instance, then say, oh, well, and go play something else. Oof, bro. Last Epoch, bad, bro. Last Epoch, True. bad. Sorry, but the indefinite loading screen is too much. Five hours played, level 14. <laughs> <laughs> That's relatable, dude. That is relatable. Nice. Five, and he's not lying, dude. 5.8 hours. Uh, the communication has dropped uh, precipitously. Uh, now they're going to slow the updates to a crawl and keep everyone from posting uh, the Ask Dev Chat in their Discord. If you uh, can't take the justified anger about your failures and you're in the wrong version, epic fail. Jesus. 72 hours after launch, still not able to play. They claim to have things under control when he. I mean, Hell Divers also has this situation. Palworld some magically how actually did it? Well, that's probably because uh, they. They did a deal with Xbox, I'm assuming. That's how they got the servers running. But yeah, Helldivers 2, suffering from success. Last Epoch, also suffering from success because, again, it's just people want to play it because it's good games. But actually at a point, this is crazy. This is actually crazy. We're at a point where good games are getting rewarded. And I like this because this means that, well, a, a lot of people are just going to you know, look at this and be like, hmm, look at these games. They're suffering literally from success. How about we get rid of all the shit and make a good game and suffer also from success? EU is asleep and back to broken servers once EU wakes up. Utter disaster. This guy said yep and then upvoted, bro. After 33 <laughs> hours played. Wait, so this guy upvoted? But he said something negative. So tired of uh, not being able to load in. It's been three days for such a promising game. The servers sucked ass. So disappointed. Blake played Diablo, dude. Look how sad that is. They had the chance to convert a guy with Diablo in his name, bro. And now he's disappointed. Was <laughs> that game really in early access? Oh, shit. It was in early access, but, you know, the early access was uh, not even close. Hey, bro, three hours. A lot of people don't play early access. I kind of get it why they fa uh, why they failed this hot because, the, reali like a complete because the reality is the game's like 99% finished in early access technically right at this point. Well, at that previous point. But, but people just don't play early access games that often that much because, you know... How many times have we got burned as gamers at the end of the day? And no one just wants to experience that for free, you know? Completely genuine, legit guy. He's three hours of playtime. He bought the game. Uh, the good news is this, chat. Everyone's just complaining that the service is dog shit, right? Yep. It, that's what they're doing. Uh, they're not complaining about the game itself being bad. They're just saying the service is dog shit. With that attitude from the depths, I cannot recommend spending money on this game to anyone when PewDiePie is free to play. Oof. Yo, what if they... Dude. Yo, I just had a bad thought, bro. Because we had the same issue during the early access patch, whatever the fuck it was, right? What if they knew it was still fucked? And then they gassed it up and then just fucking sold it as many as they could. And now they're just doing damage control for as long as they can until the player count goes down and the start working again, bro. That's actually plausible. Probably not that likely, honestly, but definitely plausible. What if that is the case? I mean, it's technically possible, right? I mean, I don't know their financial situation. Maybe they needed to sell copies. Being unhappy with what you pay for does not mean you're, in, you're an entitled idiot. It's... Well, to be fair, this also kind of is stupid because, let's be real, uh, Pal World got pushed more and more and more because they're charts were going up and up and up you you see you don't need to hear anything you just see a line go up and we uh, and monkey brain is instantaneously like hoo, 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 must play you know 
it's a it's a very simple situation, honestly, at the end of the day. So, I don't know if they did this, because uh, it's hard to stake. Great, the devs are being as open as they, uh, well, it's going on and seemingly hard work to fix it. It doesn't excuse how god-awful the launch has been. People being shills for a semi-broken product and simultaneously giving uh, out the state of gaming will always be a hilarious piece. Shit, bro. We truly want everyone to play our content we've been working for months to bring to our community. I am so sorry uh, you and others had a negative experience and we hope to turn that around as fast as we can. And I assure you we are working our butts off to make sure everyone is having the best experience we can provide at this moment. The problem with the last epoch now is the fact that, well, when they actually fix the servers, I think they will fix them, obviously. This is not the, the money grab because that would be a stupid money grab, you know? When they fix the servers, most of the hype will have bought, uh, will have went down, and there will be a lot of people who will just not have played the game. And let's be real, hype about games matters a lot. That's why pre-orders work, because they're hype. Okay, play the game three days earlier for you know like forty percent of the box price. Bam, boy, it works. And this is a big deal. This 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 actually is really damaging last epoch. Kind of sad to see, but you know, it is what it is. Moment of time. The best. They're doing their best, all right? This is their best. We will continue to work on stability going forward into the weekend. <laughs> Imagine they said, yeah, we're going to fuck off for the weekend. So, uh, bozos. That Deal with it, bro. Like, get a life, you fat fuck. Right side. What they need to do, right, is they need to find a problem, right? Okay. They need to find a problem. Okay, and then they need to fix the problem. And then I we can play! The problem. And I won't be stuck to alone in the fucking dry river! The RPG community is something else. Saw the same shit with the yellow, just turn fanboys, haters, and weird. It is a weird dynamic. I don't get why people go full simp ultra shill mode. They're like, they're, they're like two hours playtime, upvote. The game's amazing! You can't download the game just because. Just because the server I'm working on game release, what the fuck? And it's like, bro, they're like willing to die and shill for a company. Uh... I don't know about dying and shilling for the company, but yeah, the game blows up way more, ex uh, way more than anyone expected, and it's a server issue because there's too many people trying to play it. Ah, uh, you know, I, I, f I don't feel bad if I would leave a positive, uh, po positive uh, review about the game after that. Not really, because, you know, th this is a different thing. It's the same way that I, I didn't get mad when, you know, World of Warcraft was unplayable for the first day after Season of Discovery launched. I wasn't mad about that. I, I don't get mad about these things because, well, actually, I did get mad about Blizzard because they knew. They knew how big their launch is going to be and that the servers are not going to handle it. They just didn't fucking care. Last Epoch is different because we can, we know that they probably can't, right? I read the niggers and you realize they're actually negative. They were written just because people were actually excited to play on 1.0 and they couldn't play. Oh, <laughs> oh play! Um, I never really write game reviews, but it's disappointing to see so many negative reviews being submitted to last Epoch based on the launch date issues. What the fuck else are people going to do? Now, if you can't play for fucking three days, are you going to leave a positive review? Are you going to be like... I was never planning on playing, by the way, uh, in the first days the game launched. Hey, this is way out of my expect uh, expectancies, but yeah, I was not planning even to play it the first days of launch. Even though I'm dying to actually, you know, play Vodwalk and finally experience that stuff. Oh, baby. Like, man, th you, imagine you bought a game and then couldn't play for three days. What it's like, it's like they're getting offended on behalf of the devs or something. And then they're like coming into White Knight or something. It's weird. What is that? What is that? And he's played the game for 49 hours. It's like he thinks he is the dev. You're not. Maybe he is just someone who played the game before the actual launch launch of the game. Again, I'm not mad. Because I kind of expected to not be able. Well, I didn't expect to not be able to play for three days. But, you know, still. I, I can I, I understand this. I understand not that, you know, th this is like, I don't know. It, it feels s so much way more uh, of a response than needed 
to uh, be mad about the fact that too many people want to play this game. If you're, if, if that's why you're mad that you're kind of mad at yourself to some degree, I guess, because again, no one ex no one expected this many people in such a short time. But I said, hey, I did say last epoch is gonna be great, and then you kind of have it. Way too many people. You're not the dev, bro. That's you're not you're not him. One and hours of low screen straight up. P is a great game, but just too complex for a lot of casual players, including myself. Last epoch is a great middle ground, and I would definitely recommend doing it. The sad thing is, like, okay, how how good is last epoch gonna be the POE guys? What's weird is like the difference between a game that is like an eight out of ten game versus like a nine out of ten game is not better way better that in poe you pick a skill there's no classes let's be real if you disagree with this you haven't played poe you pick a skill that you want to play it you pick the class with class you pick the character with the most multipliers to, to the skill that you want to play and that's it you play and the only real feeling of a, a, your skill ever changing becoming different is Pro multiple projectiles if possible aoe cast speed attack speed and well size of the whatever well aoe i already said so yeah the, the, there's not a lot of ways to make it feel different because you don't feel proliferation that much you're still even if you didn't do proliferation you're, you're one-shotting the screen anyway right you, you don't feel conversion to lightning damage. You don't feel conversion to fire damage. You don't feel these things. Okay? They're, they're kind of there, but you don't feel them. So there's only that many ways that you can make something feel unique and different in PoE. But in Last Epoch, well, every skill... Uh, a single skill in Last Epoch has more customizability and ways to make it feel different and unique than, well, the whole of Path of Exile put together. So there you kind of have it. If you're, if you want, if you want to make a build, and your uh, and your objective is not the end game, then Last Epoch is gonna be the game for you. If you don't want to read five light novels worth of Wikipedia pages to barely understand crafting, then Last Epoch is for you because that's what Poe does. And, you know, these things are... They're, they're nice. I like complexity, but... PoE doesn't have real complexity. It just has... Wikipedia pages that you need to read. And, and that's the complexity. Reading multiple Wikipedia pages. I don't like that. At one point. It's like five times better or something, right? The reality is, PoE's way better than Last Epoch. And it's sad that that guy's missing out. Ah, uh, by the way, I think P PoE is also gonna get destroyed in like two years by Path of Exile. By Last Epoch, I mean, lol. Because, think about it. Last Epoch is coming out of the gates. And it literally already surpasses PoE in so many respects. So, in so many respects, it already surpasses PoE. Okay? PoE has nothing on the creativity, ingenuity, and problem-solving abilities of the Last Epoch theme, okay? Last Epoch has already solved problems that no one actually thought was even a problem in this genre of gaming. They are innovating the space. PoE has not brought a single point of innovation to the genre. Arguably for, you know, some, you know, uh... No, actually, what has PoE innovated on? I don't know. But yeah, Last Epoch will completely bury PoE, I think, in a year or two. Requires more than three brain cells, unlike Diablo 4. Requires less than a five times PhD to understand, unlike Path of Exile. Game is perfect in between. Oh, gee. is this what they're all going to say, bro? Dude, this is a 27 hour end. 27 hours? I can judge... Dude, I can judge if a game is gonna be good in 20 minutes. 27 hours, I think, is good. Okay? If Quinn's gonna complain... Oh, he has only played 27 hours. He's literally... He's literally, unironically, the Starfield defender that says... Oh, the game actually only becomes good in New Game Plus 7 and 40 hours in. Then the game can becomes really good. Unironically, that. Sad, Quinn. Sad. Hey. You're a 27-hour Andy. Shut the fuck up. Oh, what happened?
deeper than D4, more accessible than Path of Exile, better quality of life than any other ARPG. Do you know what? I True. will give them the, the loop filter in the game is pretty cool. I like the loop filter a lot. Because he is God. That was interesting. Anyway, that was Quinn. This was Christopher Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Have a daughter. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.